Hey everybody, this is Steve. And today we're going to talk about how to do chimneys like this. Once again, inspired by Paul Choate. He always gives me good ideas for videos. So thanks, Paul. And um, it's very simple, but you can get bogged down if you're not up to speed on a few things. So let's get into it and see what we can do. Okay, in this plan, I basically have a basic little two-story house with a roof on it. And um, on the first floor here, I wonder, I, I haven't built the foundation, but let's let's just build a foundation here. Just, okay. So now we have a foundation. Just a crawl. I know all you guys out there in California doing slabs, but here in Indiana, we do crawls. So um, what we would do is draw an exterior wall over here. I'm going to go like three by six. And I have automatic roofs on, so I'm going to turn that off and get rid of these roofs. And uh, when you do that, let's just center this in the, in the space so we know it's centered on the gable. So this creates a room here. And um, if we copy these walls and we go up a level, and use paste and hold position. Now we have a room on the second floor. And if we take a look at that, you'll see, and of course, Chief is generating attic walls because there's a roof above it. And um, we have our two-story chimney, but we don't have a uh, foundation. So let's just do that and say, okay, okay. Now we got a foundation under it. And um, so the, the catch is, what do we do? How do we get this room up here above the second floor? And you might be compelled to just copy these walls here and go up, and you'd be on the attic level. And I'm going to turn on my attic walls because they don't look like they're showing. And hit F9 so I can see below. And then I'm going to go Control-Alt-V and paste those walls. And then I'm going to copy this and reflect it about. But there's nothing to reflect on because there is no room. So I'm just going to pick up a, a line right there and copy and reflect about just so I can get this wall here. But as you can see, even with a room and all these walls, these are not attic walls, as you can see right here. These are just regular walls, but they don't create a room. And why is that? Well, you cannot create a room on the attic level, no matter what you do. So you're probably wondering, well, what do we do then? Well, you need to build a third floor, even though you're not going to use a third floor. So you go here to build new floor and click here, make blank plan for third floor and click OK. Just click OK. Now we have a third floor and we are going to copy these walls right here and go up, control alt V for paste and hold position. And then I'm going to take this wall here and I'm just going to pull it around. And let's just take a look and see what we got. And we're getting there. Now, the other thing we need to do here is to edit this roof, use a three key and break it and pull this back. Click here, hit the three key and break it and pull this roof back and take a look. And uh, we don't need these walls. I, 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 they were built, I think, because of the way we were, we did our attic walls previously. But um, now you got three story chimney in a two story house, basically. And if you want that to go above the ridge, just this is a room now on the third floor. Go to the structure tab and I would just say here on the rough ceiling, just hit plus 36, click OK. And that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, I'm on the second floor. So we don't want to do that. Why did you let me do that? Hit the wrench and put it to default. Go up to the third floor. Open this room. Hit plus 36. 
There you go. And there you go. Now we've got a really good looking chimney. Now the other thing you might want to do to make it realistic is open this. Is, we're on the third floor. Go to the general tab and make it open below. And I don't like the labels being on, so I'm going to turn that off. And go down to the second floor, open that room, make it open below. Make sure you don't show the label unless you want to. And now if you go here and we look at this, put some shading on and we look at it in glass house. And there you go. And no floors, open chimney all the way from the first floor. And uh, that's pretty simple. Now the, there's a couple things. Um, this wall here, you may need to enter the uh, edit these corners. And there's this tool right here. Edit wall layer intersections. Looks pretty good. Let's look at it from the outside. Let's look in standard view. And um, looks good. So that's how you do that. And then, of course, you need to put a chimney cap on. And um, I actually have a chimney cap in my library that I just created galvanized chimney cap and um, I would pull this right here and I made this using roofs and I'm going to open this symbol and do one thing I'm going to turn the fill off and uh, if you do a section back clip through here and you go up here to the top And you draw a line, you click right here, and you open that line and look at click length and ang angle. It'll tell you the Y position, which is 376 and 5 8. Copy that. And then let's go here to the floor plan and open this. And on the general tab, click here absolute. And put the bottom, paste that 376 and actually let's paste it to the top and maybe add an inch there we go and then go uh, center it on the space and center it on the space this way and it's not big enough to hang over so let's pull it this way about that much and here and then let's just take a look and see if we got it in the right place well we have it close. I'm just going to use transform replicate and raise it, say, oh, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half in the Z. It's still not enough. Um, how about three inches? There you go. So there's your galvanized roof, and it's it's Z fighting here because it's not long enough. So um, you might. It's a symbol and. You might um, come down here minus 1.5 say and then center it here and then pull it this way uh, one and just center it here and now we'll take a look at it now it's hanging over and it looks a little more accurate I actually made this chimney cap if you see it in vector view I made that with uh, roof planes so um, that's another, maybe another video on how to make a symbol like that. But um, that and then get a uh, chimney cap. How about just chimney? Because it's not a... Let's see what we got. How about like this? So we got this and we'll open that symbol and we will put it the same dimension here. Put it here and put it here. Center it. Take a look at it. See where it is. There it is. So you could probably raise that just a little bit. I uh, use transform re replicate a lot. And there you go. So um, looks like a zero clearance chimney and uh, 
standard view it looks pretty good foundation now i noticed on paul's example he had a step here so let's just take a look and see how we might do that i would go down here to the first floor and let's just let's turn on automatically rebuild foundation okay got to go up again i'm sorry and let's pull this out two feet 24. and then we're on the first floor here let's turn on f9 so we can see that floor right there i would just take a cad box here and um oh i don't know just do that open it make the line dashed and maybe change the line weight to two or something and turn that off and then use my q key and draw a roof right here and Pull this over, pull this over. Let's just take a look. And there you go. So uh, pretty simple. I mean, you might want to change this overhang and maybe not put a gutter on it. I mean, that's all up to you. Um, you might want to even change it and put a metal roof on it, you know, or whatever. You can do a lot of different things. So. That's a quick video on how to create a chimney, chimney cap, foundation, what have you. And uh, the key is build a floor. Don't be afraid to build a floor. Just make it a blank floor and go from there. You don't have to drag anything. You can size everything on the third floor. If we go over here to the third floor, um, I've already put the cap on it. But I mean, if you're in here in the room, you can raise or lower the room right here on the structure tab. Uh, just go right down here to rough ceiling and add or subtract and look at right here. It shows you on the side um, what you got. So um, this is showing the floor below, the floor below, and the ceiling. This is the total room because it's open below everywhere. But uh, here's your 131 and 5 eighths, which is right here. So and here's your 133 and an eighth, which is right here, your rough ceiling. So, um, so I hope that helps you guys uh, figure out chimneys. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.